hey guys how you doing i hope you guys are doing good because i am doing great as you guys can see yes i am glowing with the glow of the lord <laughs> with the glory of the lord yes today we are going to be talking about frenemies okay how to spot frenemies yes <laughs> we are also going to be talking about who a frenemy is not okay because you girls out here sometimes you people be tripping okay i'm not gonna i'm not doing anything i just want to do my makeup and just feel good and then maybe take one or two pictures and that's it can wash it off and that's it anyway so yeah let us even start from who a frenemy is not right yes a frenemy is not a friend who does not agree with you or who disagrees with you or who doesn't support you in everything you do okay that is not a frenemy i don't know who gave you guys that idea that a friend has to support you in everything you do no matter what no that, that that's that's nonsense talk because for me in that idea that a friend has to support you no matter what is the notion that you are perfect okay i'm trying to say that if you believe that a friend should support you no matter what it means that you feel like you're perfect everything you do is perfect you don't make mistakes you don't you know you are not um, you know all yeah you're too much you know everything okay and if that's not what you think then it also means that maybe you just don't want to change you know that you're not good you know that you're not perfect but you're okay the way you are you don't want to change you don't want to grow you just want friends who are like yes yes ma'am you know <laughs> You want just yes friends who anything you say they go along with it. Anything you want, you, anything you you want to do, they must do it with you. They must, you know, I, basically they must just be like your puppet. Maybe that's what you want, and that's that's really sad if that's what you know you're looking out for. But if you're just a normal human being who just wants to have a friend, you know, for a friend that you can grow with, you can glow with, you can you know rely on, you can depend on. If that is what you want in a friend, then not, then your friends don't have to always agree with you and always support you. Okay. Now there are a few caveats. Okay, there are a few caveats to this, right? Now, a friend doesn't have to support you in everything you do, right? But your friend should not also criticize everything you do or throw you under the bus or, you know, basically bash you in public for making mistakes or doing something wrong or not doing what that friend would do in such a situation. And I feel like I feel so, I look washed out. This is my real color. Anyway, um, yeah, so... As much as we are saying a friend doesn't have to support everything that you do, a friend shouldn't also be someone that will now be throwing you under the bus, will now be, you know, not, um, openly undermining you or openly, you know, castigating you. When something wrong, they openly reprimand you and make you feel bad, you know, in public. A friend shouldn't do that. But at the same time, you don't, your friend doesn't have to support you in everything you do. Like, who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? That uh, your friend must support you in everything you do. If she doesn't support me in everything I do, then she's a friend in me. She doesn't like me. I beg you. Rest. Who do you think you are, Biko? So if you come and tell me about your boyfriend, you know, and I know that this guy has a wife or has a relationship somewhere else, I'm not going to support you. I'm not. Like, I'm not going to support you. In fact, I'm going to start looking at you with one kind of eye, chef. That's just the truth. I'm going to be looking at you somehow, like, okay, let, let me even use a better example because that one, I don't think I have any friend that will be a side chick. Like, you won't even have the guts to come and tell me. <laughs> I don't think I have a friend that will be a side chick, a side chick and have the guts to come and tell me, okay? Let me give another example. So, an, another example is if, maybe for instance, you are quarreling with somebody, you have an issue with somebody, and I have looked at it from my own angle, okay, from my own perspective, and I feel like you don't really have a case, okay, you don't really have a case, it's either you're being a bad friend, or you're taking things too far, maybe the way you're handling the situation with somebody, you're taking it too far, I feel like you're taking it too far, you're not, you're not being very rational, you're not being very sensible in that situation, um, you're not treating the person right, you know, you're doing things in a way that is not good, and I see it from my own perspective, or remember, and I see it and I tell you that, no, I, uh, I know that this person hurts you, or you feel like this person hurts you, but it's not on purpose, I'm giving you other alternative scenarios that could have caused what happened, and I'm telling you that I can't support you in the way you're treating that person. You can't come and tell me I'm a friend in me because I do not support you in fighting another person. Like, are you okay? Are you normal? <laughs> are you normal? You can't, you can't tell me a friend in me. You can't say that I'm not your friend because I don't support you in, in 
being a, a bitter person or being of, of fighting somebody else like no no if i tell you not to fight this person you decide to go ahead it's okay but i'm not going to jump in with you that's just it you know so a frenemy is not somebody who you were once friends with and you have now started drifting apart or started falling apart or started you know basically you're not as close as you used to be to this person that does not make the person a frenemy okay that you are close to somebody before and you know for some reason the person is no longer you're no longer as close as you used to be you're no longer friends like you used to be maybe distance is now between you people like physical distance or emotional distance whatever the case is it doesn't make the person a frenemy it's just a friend who you are no longer close to Chicken, that's it. Okay, you don't have to start saying, Oh, she wasn't a good friend to me. You don't have to make it look like the person was a bad person, you know, simply because you people are no longer what you guys used to be. People change, people change, circumstances change, a lot of things change in people's lives. People go through a lot in life that makes them change and makes your friendship with them change as well. So you should be mature enough to just recognize it for what it is and just wish the person well and just, you know. Let the person go. You don't have to start badmouthing the person. If somebody asks, you, if, if somebody asks you, oh, that your friend? How is that your friend now? You guys used to be so close. What happened? Next thing, you start badmouthing the person. You start saying the person did this to you. The person did that to you. You know, even things that you forgive, you supposedly forgave the person for, or things that you know you guys resolved before. You now start bringing it up as reason why you guys are no longer friends. Meanwhile, it's not true. Okay, that's that's a very deceitful behavior um yeah that's that's really deceitful don't do it also a frenemy is not someone that you guys started a relationship with or tried to build a relationship with and it didn't work out that's not a frenemy okay that's not a frenemy just because oh you meet somebody and off off of initial vibes is that correct english yeah off of out of initial vibes or <laughs> because of initial vibes you guys start you know becoming friends and start you know see each other more than usual start you know start vibing start becoming friends start hanging out and stuff like that and then somewhere along the line you just realize that mm, me and this person are not really compatible me and this person are not really um person not really who i thought they were we're not supposed to be friends basically there are people that i just realized that you're not supposed to be friends with this person right so that is not a friend in me that is just somebody that you try to become friends with and it did not work out. She can uh, Yeah, so don't go and start ascribing to it what it is not, basically. Don't go and start making it a bigger deal than it is. Define what you have with people. Not everything, you just slap one label on it because, you know, you think you can. Like, it, it's not everything, you just slap any kind of label on, okay? Define what you have with people. It makes for a better relationship with those people, okay? In my own opinion, no. By the time you define what you have with people, you you now you also define your expectations of them as well so if i if i realize that you are just an acquaintance there's some things i won't expect you to do for me and i won't be heartbroken if you don't do for me okay the problem most times is that people try to slap the same label on just a variety of things and start having expectations and then when it doesn't work out you now tempt the person friendly me or tempt the person outright enemy or say the person is not a good person or say the person hurts you meanwhile you don't hurt yourself by having expectations that we are unrealistic and you know unfounded basically anyway i think i have talked enough about that so now let us move on to who a frenemy is or how to spot a frenemy okay as the name goes friend enemy a friend who is worse than an enemy basically <laughs> because i prefer an enemy to a frenemy for an enemy you you know what to expect you know once somebody is branded basically as your enemy you basically know who they are you know what to expect you know that this person is not coming this person is not wants good for you so you're going to protect yourself okay it's like when you see something is poison you protect yourself but when something comes like sugar which is basically poison okay so if another thing but when something comes like sugar and it is actually poison then that's even worse for you because you're going to consume it a lot without even knowing you die faster in fact for me a eh, short form of who a friend in me is is a witch basically okay a friend in me in my own opinion though is a witch because the act of being a frenemy is basically witchcraft because you are just like, it's witchcraft. I don't know how to even explain it. It's, it is witchcraft, like change. If I, and that reminds me, 
As I'm saying this thing, now maybe you are in your day, you're thinking, ah, it's true. Because I've noticed that one thing about videos like this, okay, or topics like this, the comment section is always full of people saying, yes, I had a friend in me. Yes, I know a friend in me. Yes, my friend is a friend in me. Blah, 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 blah. So who are those frenemies? If all of you in the comment section now have, uh, uh, you know, are dealing with one frenemy or the other, so who is the frenemy? You saw this video is also a shade video. Like I'm throwing shade at you, okay? Just collect your shade and do with it what you please, okay? Spot yourself. How to spot yourself? How to know that you're a frenemy? You're a bad friend. <laughs> In fact, you know, being a bad friend is not even really what a frenemy is, okay? A frenemy basically is like someone who pretends to be your friend but is, is hurting you, doesn't like you, you know, is hurting you, is looking for how to undermine you, looking for how to deal with you, how to destroy you, but they, you know, they cover it up with, oh, I love you so much, you're my bestie, you're my sissy, you know, you're my this, you're my dad, but deep down, they are the ones that are killing you the most, right? So that's basically a friend me. Well, it's a bad friend, actually. How to spot yourself? Some of you are actually the friend me that we're talking about. But as, I'm, as, I, as, I, as you saw the title of this video, your mind went to somebody. Meanwhile, you're not you. Not you, okay? But that brings me to the first way to spot a friend me. And that is instinct, right? Don't underplay, what they call it, or undermine, I've been uh, underestimate. The power of your instinct, especially if you're someone like me who is very instinctive, who, you know, I'm very instinctive. I'm kind of person that I can read people's energy. Um, I should have studied psychology, to be honest. And now I think about it, I should have studied, I should have studied psychology. You know, so I read people's energy. I read people's behavior. I know... I know people to a larger extent, like I study people to a larger extent. I'm not the kind of person that jumps into friendship or jumps into people. Um, yeah, so I take my time to study the person, study who you are, you know. I don't just go off of who I think you are, right? I try to confirm, try to confirm. So either way, it's both bad and good. Like if I feel like a bad person, I'm still going to hang around long enough to confirm if you're a bad person. If you're a good person, I'm still going to hang around long enough to confirm if you're a good person. I'm not just going to jump into the friendship or stay away from you entirely, okay? So, don't underestimate instincts, right? You know, like I said before, for many of you, as you saw the title of this video, many of you, somebody, somebody flashed, you know? Somebody flashed your mind. It was the English. <laughs> Somebody's picture flashed across your mind. As you saw the title of this video, your mind went to somebody, right? Whoever that person is, look more into it. Don't ignore it, okay? Look more into it. It's possible that that person is a frenemy, and that is why your mind has been telling you that something is off. It's just that you needed confirmation, you know? So just seek confirmation. I'm not saying that because somebody crossed your mind, you should now immediately said, ah, friend in me, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> friend in me, yeah, yeah, let me run away from this person, no, I'm just saying, look for confirmation, okay, I'm going to name a few things to look out for, but yeah, instincts, sometimes it's good to take a leap of faith and all of that, but I don't know, apply caution, okay, apply a bit of caution, so when your friends are beginning to show you signs that mm -mm, something is off with this friendship, Pay attention to it. Again, like I said in, you know, before, it might not necessarily mean that a person is a friend in me. It might just mean that, you know, things are changing and all of that. But be mindful of it. Whatever it is, just be mindful of it, okay? So another way to spot a friend in me is someone that when something good is happening in your life, when, you know, something exciting is happening in your life, when you are doing good, when you are, you are, you know, you are flourishing, you are excelling, you are doing good, they're not really present, they're not really helpful, they're not really supportive. When you're doing something worthwhile, they're not really supportive, they don't really... They're just somehow, they're either giving you backhanded compliments or they're just, you know, they just start acting weird or are just silent when something good is happening in your life, right? But the moment something bad happens, they have a lot to say, okay? They have a lot to say. They, you know, they are always there to come and tell you, oh, I told you so, or I knew this was going to happen. I didn't want to tell you because I know if I tell you, you will start, you will not agree. When something good is happening in your life, they are nowhere to be found. 
But when something bad is happening in your life, they are now constantly asking you about it. They are constantly trying to bring drama. They are constantly trying to, you know, involve you in drama. Or I don't know how to explain this, this situation. I don't know which example to give. But you guys know people like that. Uh, when something good is happening in your life, you pim, you will not hear from them. Oh. But when something bad happens, they first call you, eh, so this thing happened to you now. Wow. Eh. You, can, you, can, you, can, you can sense a bit of excitement in their voice. When I'm talking to you about something bad that happened in your life, okay? You can sense that excitement a little bit. You guys know that. You, you, you guys know what I'm talking about. You, you know. They pretend to be sad for you. They pretend to not like what is going on. But you can tell that, no. Somewhere in between. Somewhere, somewhere, somewhere deep down. I can tell this person is actually happy that this thing is happening to me. You can tell. So, if you have such a friend, please run away from that person. They can poison you. They can kill you. <laughs> They can kill you. They can they can go and do jazz for you. That is what they call bad belly. Okay. Oh, this is my brows are browsing. <laughs> my brows are browsing. Okay. Um, my brows were done by Somi. I've got the name of her, her business now. But Somi, she's here on YouTube. Shades of Somi. She did my uh, micro blading, but yeah, I'm still applying pencil because I'm doing makeup and I've covered it a bit with foundation. A friend in me is also someone who has a lot to say about you behind your back. Okay. When you're not there, they have a lot to say about you. They are always talking about you. They are constantly berating you. They are constantly, you know, telling people about you, leaking your secrets. Run away from such a person, okay? That's if you get away from it. Because most times we don't even know. You won't even know that your friend is doing this to you. Because, I mean, like I said, it's behind your back. What does behind your back mean? Behind your back is your front, okay? It's at your back that they're doing this thing. So you can't tell, but when you get a whiff of it, when somebody tells you, when somebody hints it, when somehow just enters your ear and you can tell that this friend is the person that is behind all of this, please run away from such a person. Don't try to be friendly means back with, the, back with the person. Don't try to beat them at their own game because they're going to win. Don't try to... Just run away from such a person. Just avoid the person. Just tell the person who ha and say... You did this to me, I realized that you are the, the evil in my life and I can no longer tolerate your presence. I can no longer have anything to do with you. So there's no point. So another way to spot a frenemy is someone who, when something good is happening in your life or when you are doing something good or you are doing great or you are excelling, they want to take credit for it, okay? They want to take credit for it. They want to make it look like it's, it's them, they're the ones behind it, they're the force behind it. It's because of them that you are where you are today. It's because of their support. It's because of their whatever, their encouragement. Boo -boo -boo. It's basically because of them that you are where you are today. They try to take credit for it. And, you know, and funny thing is that maybe they actually have a hand in it. It's not like they don't have a hand in it. Maybe they actually have a hand in it. But that constant reminder, like you have to be grateful to them for whatever it is. Maybe they hooked you up with your, whoever your boyfriend is today. And I'm sure it's not even on purpose, though. Whoever you're married to today. Maybe it's not even on purpose. Maybe just they even, they're looking down on the guy. They now push the guy to you as per, this is my nonsense friend. Let, let, her, let her be with this nonsense guy. And then it turns out that the guy is now, you know, all that plus more. The, the guy is now like the best husband ever. And then I start feeling bad about it. Then constantly they want to remind you that if not for you, you won't have met this your husband. If not for me, you won't have met this your husband. If not for me, you wouldn't be doing well in this thing. If not for me, you wouldn't have gotten that job. If not for me, you wouldn't have been... No. Anybody that constantly reminds you of something good that they did in your life, whether directly or indirectly or even not, a, not even true, anybody that constantly tries to take credit for it and tries to make you feel like you should be eternally grateful to them, Run away from such a person, I beg. Run, Bawa. <laughs> it's not even just, um, you know, taking credit. It's also being center stage. You are doing birthday, they want to dress more than you. You are doing party, they want to, they want to be louder than you. You are doing presentation, they want to, there's everything about you. They want to outshine you. Competition, yeah, that's on that one. They are always constantly competing with you. They are in constant competition with you. It's almost, uh, uh, at some point, it gets ridiculous. It's almost like I'm getting, I'm getting a fear here. They are always trying to one-up you. They just want to always take the shine. Every time they want to take the shine, every time they want to be center of attention, whenever anything good is happening for you, they want to come there and, you know, basically take away the shine from you. Like, ah, if people are praising your outfit or praising, you know, something you did or praising something about you, they want to come there and basically receive that praise and just outshine you if they can you know as if they can because most times they can't that's why they, they keep trying they try to 
make it look like oh your own is not that it's not, uh, she's not all that like when people are trying to praise you they're like oh calm down she's not all that please they will not try to say something about you that is that is not you know that doesn't put you in the best light it might not even be true or again like i said many things they say might be true or might not be true but they just want to share take away the lights from you okay always want to belittle you in one way or the other run away from such friends friends should be uplifting your friends should be that person that whenever you're around them you feel good about yourself they make you feel good about yourself they try to make you feel good about yourself even when you're not feeling good about yourself maybe you dress up in front of them or they won't say anything when you're not out in public they'll not say but why do you even wear this kind of thing safe no, uh, you know people like that. I'm sure you know somebody like that. I'm talking, as I'm saying all these things now, I'm sure somebody is, is, is coming to mind. They were there. They saw you buy that thing. They saw you wear it. They saw you, you know, dress up. They saw you. They went out with you, basically. They didn't say anything. You know, when you're not out in public, they'll not say, ah, uh -uh, to people's here, you know, ah, uh, I did it. This is your dress. Why is you going to wear this kind of dress? Like, look at how your hand is looking. Look at how your, your tongue is coming out. You know, those kind of people, please, those are frenemies. Run away from them. They will not cover it up with laugh. They cover it up with laugh as per as per comedians that they, that they are. Also, frenemies are people who always want to gain from you no matter what. They are not trying to do anything for you in return. They are not trying to do anything nice for you. They just want what they can gain from you. Any way possible that they can gain from you. Any opportunity to chop you, they are going to take it. <laughs> any opportunity to profit from you, to profit from your misery, to profit from things that surround, concern you, they are gonna take it. They put like that. They can't do anything for you for free. You must pay them for it. You must pay them in one way or the other. Either you're paying them in cash or in kind. And we're not talking about business here. We're not talking about, oh, you guys are doing a business together. No, just relationship, okay? Just, oh, the same the way you ask your friend to help you do something, you know, or your friend can do something for you. You need help with something and your friend is free and your friend can do that thing for you. They will tell you that if for them to do it for you, you have to pay them. And they're not, they're not joking. You know, like, for real, for real, you will have to pay them for them to do it for you. Meanwhile, when it's your turn, you do it for them for free. So you might not really know these things because they won't do it to your face. But just be prayerful. Try and pray against enemies because, like I said, I prefer enemies. Though. Enemies, you can tell. You're not cut off guard with enemies, but when you have enemies, ah. They are most likely going to be caught off guard and they are going to deal with you very well. Um, yeah, so while we're on the topic, let us also remember that some of these traits are not only possessed by strangers or, you know, friends like, you know, we said. Some of these traits are also found in family members, okay? Family members. It's so sad. In fact, I'm not even sure we're ready for that conversation. I'm not sure we are ready for that conversation. But a lot of family members are actually the frenemies in your life. And their own is even worse. They are the they are the <laughs> they're the sister, sister enemies. <laughs> They're the sister knees and dad and brother knees and yeah yeah auntie knees and uncle 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 knees. I don't even know how how to call them or what to call them. Okay. Before somebody is going to ask me this week, I've had it for years and years. I just give it to somebody to help me revamp. So yeah, I I, can't, I don't know where I got it from. At this point, I'm tired of answering that question. <laughs> I don't know. I got it from a friend who. It's no longer even selling wigs. It was just something she did at that time. And I bought the wig from her then. And I've been wearing it since then. I just gave it to somebody to revamp for me. And that's it. Um, it was it was revamped by revamped by Kaini. She's on Instagram. Yeah, she's on Instagram. So she just revamped it for me. She called it back. But right now, I don't really like this wig again. I don't know why. It makes me feel like I, I, I don't know why I feel like I look old in it. Let me know in the comment section <laughs> if it makes me feel look old or is it just the makeup? This I'm a boy Google will not mind this business. Yeah? First, use your fingerprints to unlock the device. Shut up, I'm not even talking to you. I'm a boy. Ah, fine girl. <laughs> I'm so pretty. <sighs> Man, I don't get it. I don't get it. This is too much for somebody to bear. That's why God just gave me daughters, daughters, daughters. He was like, this beauty, you need to pass it on. You need to bless the world with more than just one person with this beauty. You need to pass it on. So he gave me three daughters. I know if I try again, another one will enter. So 
I'm not even going to try again. <laughs> At this point, on query, can the query? Okay, I know I was hyping down that wig, but something about it made me feel old. So I went to go and fish out my bone straight. This is my bone straight from Laefa Luxury Hair. I remember I bought this hair in, was it not December or so? Yeah, so I also gave it to the same person that revamped that one to revamp it. So she, you know, just treated it and straightened it back for me. I literally left it inside the pack. In fact, you, you will see a little bit of fold. But yeah, I just brought it out from the pack. That's why it has those lines there but overall don't you love it but yeah i absolutely love the way i look this top is from h m it's a very useless top i don't understand the way the top is it's just all over the place <laughs> it's my worst buy from h m but i must wear it i must use it on film video at least um that's it about today's video let me know in the comment section you know what your thoughts are on this topic do you know a frenemy are you a frenemy or are there ways of spotting a frenemy that i haven't pointed out because to be honest i didn't make any notes i was just saying things as it came to my head let me know in the comment section what you think about it okay yeah and thank you so much for watching i'll see you all in my next video bye guys i'm feeling myself can you tell can you tell What's happening? What's ha what's going on? <laughs> okay, so ha lashes would have just made this look just come together, but okay. Thumbnail time.